Welcome to our first how-to guide to put together your Android mini TV tablet device and connect it to your TV and get you up and running with a smart TV connection. As you can see I've unpacked the box and you've got a micro USB to USB cable. This is actually used for the power and if you've got a spare port on your TV you can actually plug that straight into the TV to power it up. If not then you need to put it into a mains adapter uh, to get your power. On the actual Android device itself here's your USB connector, here's the micro USB connector. On the side you've also got a further micro USB connector and you can put in a mini SD card for an additional 32 gig of memory space. So we can put lots of films and music and all sorts of things on there and that just simply clicks back in again and then goes back in place. A little bit of technique to get that right. Thumbnail works quite well, clearly. Uh, so hidden under here is our HDMI connection, uh, so your high definition connection for your TV, uh, which is referred to as a 1080p connector. There's a convenient little cable uh, that comes with this to extend that so it doesn't necessarily have to go straight into the port. I find this really useful when I've been setting this up. So that now plugs straight into my TV with this connector. And I've connected in then the micro USB into the back. Just get that the right way up. And then that goes in really nicely. Okay. And that lines up where it says uh, DC on this particular unit. And in my particular case, uh, you could use the uh, wireless connection between your keyboard, which uh, is this, and your mouse connection as a touch sensitive mouse on this particular model. And you can connect straight into uh, the USB port, and then those two are hooked together and working together. Or you can actually connect in, which is my current favourite method uh, because of the consistency of connection and also the speed, a USB to Ethernet uh, connection, which has also got a three port USB hub on the side of this unit. Once I connect in any of these ports, I am now married together again between my wireless keyboard and the actual uh, wireless receiver. Uh, on this particular unit. Now I'm going to connect this up onto my uh, television to show you how this all physically connects, some of the lights that you can expect to see on and how they physically connect and we can then have a look at, at how well that works. So to connect the uh, Android TV now uh, into my uh, television. I'm simply going to take the HDMI port. That's going to go, unsurprisingly, straight into the HDMI uh, slot here. Now, as I've found through doing some testing, the power cable uh, can go from this USB straight to the mains uh, via a USB uh, adapter to a standard UK 3 pin plug or in this particular case I've just used a spare USB port which actually powers up the Android unit. Well you'll notice with the Ethernet adapter uh, the USB Ethernet adapter at this point is I've got a nice blue light that's come on that's telling me my uh, pairing device for my keyboard is now connected and I'm now going to pop in the Ethernet cable straight into the back of here and I'm getting a second blue light coming on to tell me that I've got that connected and that's all you need to do to connect to this Android TV device and most others that are like it into your standard HDMI TV to make it a smart TV. So having connected up the uh, smart TV to my HDMI port 4. I'm just going to change the channel on the TV over to that and we now are connected with all my apps running that I've already downloaded so I've got a little widget at the top there for the BBC News uh, which I can refresh 
Now I'm just going to use the uh, touchpad uh, and just to go up to the refresh uh, icon here and just check that that's the current latest top stories uh, that we've got. I'm running another little widget down here for uh, some YouTube videos uh, which I can pick uh, any one of these uh, and just play and see if there's anything interesting happening there and you've got the normal uh, games of course Angry Birds Facebook, Twitter and your Gmail and all those great things. So that's on the main page uh, by uh, scrolling over to the left hand side and holding the left click button I can sort of drag the page uh, across to get onto another page and drag again to do exactly the same thing. Um, when you click and hold on the background you get the um, shortcut for the gallery, the live wallpaper which you can see running and the live wallpaper that I have running on this one uh, is actually a water scene um, but we could also run a uh, fish farm uh, which is uh, rapidly becoming my daughter's favourite game and I can set that as my wallpaper in this particular thing it's a free app that we've downloaded and now when I drag uh, the page along you can see that I've got my fish healthily swimming in the background there and all happily swimming along uh, as we look through the various pages. So I've got another little widget on this page here telling me what the weather's going to be like, uh, where we are and I've also uh, started playing with Play Music uh, which is another great app that uh, we really like here. Uh, Play Music enables you to uh, upload all your music uh, into one place and in this particular case we're just going to pick uh, the first one that's available and I can start playing some music now that that's playing away um, I can actually run that um, and pop that in the background have some music playing and just have a look at different other gadgets and um, perhaps just check my email make sure everything's okay there Go back to the home page um, and I'm still playing my songs in the background which is probably louder than my voice so let me um, turn that down or I should just simply pause it and that's a quick demo of our smart TV plugged in and fully operational uh, for you to explore the world of Android and all the millions of apps that are available when you go and have a look at the shop and the Google Play shop with all your apps, music, books, magazines and movies. So lots more things that you can do with this and there'll be some more videos to show you what else can be done at a later stage. Hope you enjoyed that.